Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am here in Oregon with Ashton, who has a YouTube. She actually started YouTube before me. She has a couple videos up. You have like how many videos? Three videos up? Like four now, because I saw Panic at the Disco, so. Oh, you put, you put some in there? Yeah. Oh my god, like, I Like a couple of clips, because I'm a crazy fan girl. Can I cuss? Yeah, um, oh, I mean, I don't, I don't give a <laughs> shit if you guys on my channel because at the end of the day, like, it's not like I'm monetized or anything, you know. She's just a small little YouTuber. She'll grow, but she's not growing oh, yet. I'm fucking amazing, though. Thank you. A little backstory on Ashton for a little bit. I met Ashton on Instagram, and a mutual friend of ours kind of linked us together. She's no longer in our lives, which is funny because here I am in Oregon. She's originally from Oregon. She grew up here. Um, she grew up in Portland, the Portland area. And <laughs> she grew up in the Portland area, and we kind of met a couple years ago, and now we're back here yeah, together. It's been, actually, it has been a couple years. Yeah, because I came out in 2017. It's, yeah, it's, so it's been a whole year. <laughs> That's not a couple. But yeah, okay. <laughs> it's not a couple. It's been a whole year, not a couple. We don't really know what we're gonna do. We're pretty much, as far as makeup is concerned, we're kind of gonna just do a get ready with us. Um, something pretty chatty, kind of get to know a little bit about Ashton, you guys already know about me, but just ask her a couple questions, see how, see how it looks like. <laughs> Look, what do you mean? looks so good. <laughs> I apologize if I'm like coughing or sneezing. I'm allergic like, to my cats. Yeah, she has two cats and I'm allergic to both of them, obviously, because I'm allergic to cats. So, obviously. just ignore the fact that I'm like dying. And I'm gonna touch my <laughs> You're gonna what? So as far as what we're gonna do for makeup, like I said, we don't really know what we're gonna be jumping into. I'm gonna be jumping into the Lysa Drag, very colorful, but also very neutral. I've, um, don't think I've used my channel, but I've used it on Instagram. So go follow me and go follow Ashton on Instagram. That's where we're the most active. Yeah, because, I mean, Twitter too, I guess. Yeah, Twitter. I mean, we have all the socials, but pretty much, it's a little bit harder for me to film on YouTube now that I've got a full-time job. You guys didn't know that I'm working at the... That's all I'm, fun. I'm working at the Natick Sephora and I'm excited. So if you're from the Boston area, come visit me. I will be working. Please do. Yeah. And if you're ever in the Portland area and you see Ashton, say hi. She's really nice. It's yeah. Sweet. Like I go to Sephora all the time. So. Yeah. So if you're there, say hi to her. Um, and then I'm going to be using the Zulu by Juvia's Place. I've never played with any of the colorful Juvia's Face palettes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. Alright. So, we're going to be starting with eyes first. Are you going to start with eyes first? Yeah, I'm going to... Do you do your brows first? I usually do my eyes first because I like to carve under my brows. Mm. What do you do first? I'm going to do my brows first. Okay, okay. cool. I'm going to be recreating a look that I already posted on my Instagram. It's basically like a really like yellow, muted out, and white eye. I'm sure I'm going to go on with the primer, but whatever. Wait, did you go on with the primer? No. <gasps> Rebel. Yeah, I'm going with no primer. My my eyes are really oily. This is just for the video, so it's, it'll be fine. I know. You'll I'm starting <laughs> by taking the shade Campy on my outer corner. I'm kind of packing that color inwards. Ash, uh, let me see what I can <gasps> ask you. Um, yes, ask me anything. T. T. Q. R. Okay, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia <clears throat> Ash Brown Dip Brow. I might use that. Go ahead. I might use that, yeah. Because I want my brows to look snatched. So let's see what I can ask you. So I'm going to let Ashton describe her makeup journey and how she got into makeup. Because I feel like that's interesting. Tell you my like viewers a little bit about how you started into makeup. Um, So I started my makeup journey probably about three years ago. Um, I moved to North Carolina with my husband. He was in the military. He no longer is in. And so since I was across the country, since I'm from Oregon, I had nothing to do. And so I decided I needed a hobby. And mind you, like throughout high school, I didn't wear like, any makeup at, at all. all. I wore maybe mascara. Mm -hmm. And I tried doing like some eyeliner, but it, oh, it was so bad. Really? <laughs> um, and I just decided I wanted to get into makeup. So my husband was like, oh, here's 50 bucks. Go to Ulta, because we had one down the street. And I bought all the Ulta brand makeup. Really? And it, was so, it was bad. Was it? Yeah. But I was like, wow, this is actually kind of fun. Yeah. And so, I mean, from there, it just kind of, like, sprouted. I started a channel, and um, I had about, like, 40 videos. And uh, one day, I decided that, you know what? I don't like any of my videos, so I'm just going to delete them all. 
which I regret it and I kind of wish I just like made them private. I thought you privated your videos because I remember there was one video of yours that got gained a lot of like traction. It was like Too Faced. It was like a, a Sweet Peach palette or a prom makeup tutorial yeah. was that another one also. And just I know that you don't do a lot of videos now but have you noticed like a shift in how people gain, I'm not subscribers or just like followers in general whether it be on IG, Twitter or social media mm -hmm. where before this was kind of a couple years ago. Do you think it's changed? Oh, yeah. I feel like if I would have kept up with it and kept on making videos More and not yeah. delete them, I would probably have a good amount of... Um, traction. Traction, yeah. And, like, now I look back at it with, like, the algorithm and everything just on any social media, like Twitter and Instagram. The algorithm is shit. Yeah, and so yeah. it's really hard for smaller influence influencers like Rossini and I to even get noticed because there's just... It's all about money. And yeah. So they're just bringing up all these people who already have a million followers and they're just showing them more and not any of us. Which sucks because there's a lot of talent out there. I've noticed that just in general. And it's not to say that consistency doesn't matter, but it right does. now... Question. Yeah. Same question. What made you want to start makeup? Uh -huh. What, like how long has your journey been? And I started makeup in 2015, so three years ago. And I did it right after, I don't know if I talked about this on my channel, but I did it right after I basically dropped out of college. I went to a state school. I was going for public relations, which technically is what I'm doing in a way. I didn't like the traditional aspect of college where I spent 12 years, elementary, middle, and high school, learning all these subjects that are pretty mundane. Some are important in the real world, but um, a lot just don't make any sense. And I would rather just waste my time, or not waste my time, um, use my time more wisely. I had a lot of free time obviously because I was working but I wasn't working full time at a position so I had a lot of free time and in that free time the same mutual friend actually that um, <laughs> brought us together started talking to me about this boy in makeup. It was, it was Manny and Patrick. Well through Patrick I found Manny. Became so intrigued with men in makeup because before coming to makeup, I was a photographer. That was my first passion. I used to do senior pictures and still do senior pictures. And I would digitally edit makeup or just perfect the skin on Photoshop. That's amazing. I kind of just, yeah, I kind of just applied that technique to my face. And from there, I got, I used to only do skin because I didn't know how to do eye. And then I picked up a brush and started doing eyes. Found my real passion through makeup. Just in the art of transformation and just finding beauty within that transformation and finding just myself a little bit better and self-confidence, which is a big factor. Oh, yeah. Not to say I'm not confident without makeup, but it just kind of gives you that little boost of confidence that everybody needs you and everybody control. yeah because i'm basically transforming my face into whatever i want it to be um the lighting on the top of the camera gave out so we had to switch the settings so i apologize for that i just took um the tarte shape tape concealer and carved out my lid i love watching you do your makeup because <laughs> i don't have any other people that i can like do this with here. yeah like at least not here it's just so cool watching another artist like do their makeup to work on yeah. the face even though there's tutorials out there, not everybody does things the same way. My eye shape and just skin in general is different than Ashton's, so it's super interesting. I'm just going for like a little sunset, like a little, like, why not? whatever. You do lashes very last. Mm, yeah, no, I do my lashes. Okay, so basically my routine is I'll do my eyes. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing something kind of like this where it's a little bit more intricate, um, if it's not something more intricate, I'll do um, my face. But I'll go in and I'll do my eyes. After I do my eyes, I'll do my liner, lashes, brows, and the rest of my face. And then I'll finish off with lips. Okay. What about you? I feel like I always, like, I switch it up sometimes. Um, sometimes I'll do, like, my foundation first, and then I'll do brows, and then I'll do my eyes, and then concealer. Like, completely out of order. Yeah. I don't really have, like, a routine. Uh, usually when I do my makeup, it's, uh... Quick, just out the door makeup? Yeah. And especially, like, lately, I feel like I haven't had any time. Mm -hmm. And so this is almost foreign to me, especially doing it in front of a camera. I think it's been, like, a year and a half since I filmed. Yeah. When you do have the time to kind of do makeup and sit down, what kind of looks are drawn to you, what your favorite brands? Um, so usually for inspiration, I'll look at your Instagram, of course, Abby, oh. and um, I'll look at like, um, her name's Morgan, but on Instagram is Ja Definitely Feel. Yes. I'll Love her, and Heather. Like, shout out to Heather. 
Now there is um, an artist on IG. I don't think she's on YouTube. She's on Twitter and... and tw yeah, but like, is she on YouTube? No. No. Okay, so Not she's like an artist on IG that you guys need to follow. She's amazing. Her eye looks are so bomb. She actually is from the Boston area. Which they need to meet, like... Literally. Um, if you came during Halloween... <gasps> but, but I am gonna go in with the yellow shade, which I don't think it has shade colors or at least not on the packaging and i threw away the box so uh it usually, um, oh, i didn't know it had a name well we don't have a name it's the yellow shade it's the yellow shade because there's only nine shades and it's only yellow and i'm using an m441 is morphe your favorite set of brushes um it's actually like the only brushes i've ever used yeah it's the same i feel like um i know online it's a lot of people just push from morphe because they work on commission but just from someone who doesn't do that and buys all their brushes and buys all their makeup in general, I think they're really quality brushes for the price. For price, yes. I feel like that's the main thing is price. Yeah. As for quality, they're, they could be better. Yeah. I feel like some, like, because mine shed. Or yeah, then, mine shed too. Mine also fall apart, like the, the whole like yeah. handle or not. Yeah, like the handle detaches from the whole thing. Yeah, which um they have been getting a lot of flack for on social media, but you can't beat it because at the end of the day, it's not a high price point. And like working at Sephora, um, I know our brushes are more expensive um, and people pay that price. So it really is personal preference. So I guess this is like a first impressions as well. First impressions. Um, it's blending fine. Mm -hmm. Just kind of packing it on and doing a yeah. quick sketch out of what I want. Do you find that sometimes like your shadows have trouble showing up on your skin tone? Yes. Yeah, so a lot of the times my shadows, I guess they don't want to stick on my eyelid. And I've tried so many different methods mm -hmm. of like priming my eyes and mm -hmm. all that good stuff. And for some reason, like especially on the center, like right there, it gets super patchy mm -hmm. and... Um, it's almost like I have dry eyelids. So, <laughs> we're back. I have my a lashes on. back with a new eye look. look. <laughs> Literally. So, we had to go in with this palette and she decided to create more of like a neutral, not neutral, but more of like a simple Super eye. Super simple. Because, like you tell them what happened. <laughs> um, so this, uh, Juvia's place, I tried to like it and he was watching me. Like, I literally tried two different looks and it just... And the shadows did not blend as well as I thought they would. They don't, they're beautiful colors, they just don't perform as well as, as I we thought. We see them on like social media basically. Yeah, the first time I did it, I used the um, Tarte. Tarte Creaseless Concealer and I did not realize it was as hydrating as it is. Yeah, it doesn't like dry down like the Tarte Shape Tape. And so I tried with that first, I was like, okay, cool. And so then after trying that, like, two different looks on the same, like, eyeshadow base, whatever, um, took that off, put on shape tape, set it, and then I went in with this shade, and I was literally, like, digging my brush yeah, into she was, it. I saw her. Not even, um, tapping off the excess, and then just trying to pat it on my eyes, and nothing was showing up, so. Now we're using the... Life is the drag. Life is the drag by Manny. Yeah, no, by Manny anyway in Lunar Beauty. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on her face. I went ahead and primed. Did you prime or no? Prime not right yet. Now? Um, I would like to prime with your Tatcha. Yes, 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 yes. So I one of my favorite primers right now is the Tatcha Still Canvas. It's a blurring primer, but also has skincare like benefits in it. So it's gonna like um help protect your skin from like all like the pollutants and everything like that so um they said you only need to take like, a right size amount so i would take like your finger mm -hmm. and kind of take like a little bit like this and um put it on your more porous areas and see how you like it yeah i'll take like, like uh, yeah help me oh i don't know how much you're supposed to use i'll just do like dot this here 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 and then like kind of massage that into your skin okay cool and if you're needs anybody in the back my sister and zach her husband are playing video games, so. Fuck gender roles. Literally man. fuck gender roles. <laughs> a boy and a girl are doing makeup, and a girl and a boy are playing video games together, so. Like your shelter construct, bitch. Bitch. While she primes, I'm gonna go in with my foundation because I have a lot of surface area to cover, whereas Ashton does not. I'm also going to use the Physician's Formula Spotlight Primer. Um, it's basically just super illuminating. Yeah, um, Ashton has a dry skin. I have really combina more combina- mm, no, it's more oily skin, let's be real. So I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 270. Do you like the Fenty Foundation? I do because it's super bad. Yeah, because I remember, um, 
I went to Sephora one time and I wanted to get a sample of the foundation mm -hmm. and she was like, well, I highly recommend that you use this with the Kat Von D hydrating primer because I told her I have dry skin, but a girl doesn't want to buy from Kat Von D. Yeah. <laughs> I would just do any sort of like, honestly moisturize a lot before you go in with the foundation and you should be okay. Um, when you say you have dry skin, do you have like really dry skin to the point where it like flakes off? Um, in the winter, yes. I guess okay. just overall, it's almost normal to dry. Yeah. It's not like a super dry um, formula, so I would just mix it. If you want to shear it down, I'll mix it in with like an oil or something. Yeah. I just really like it because it looks really nice on the skin. It does like a job of covering. Like it has like medium to full coverage and it like looks like a little like mask which i love good for me personally it's really good because of the fact that it's matte i'm going in with another physician's formula product it is the healthy foundation um and i am in the shade i believe it's lw2 which i'm assuming it's light warm too um and it has like a little i'm turning the fan on guys i'm sorry to cut ashton off because a bit just starting to sweat. If you can hear a fan, I apologize. It's either that or I'm a sweaty mess on camera. Anyways, Sorry, it has a really nice doe foot applicator. Then I'm gonna take a Real Technique sponge and just pat it into my skin. I like to go in with a brush because I need as much coverage as possible and then I'll go in with like a beauty bun or a Real Technique sponge. I love the Y6 by Morphe. It's really good and dense and packs on the product really well. Where did I put my foundation? Did it fall? Yes, it did. I'm gonna have to pull up my hat because I'm just gonna take this off. She's bald, sorry. Going in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This shit is like super dewy is for it? concealer. Yeah, look at this. Oh yeah, it is it's really like, dewy. So I'm definitely going to set my, like I'm gonna bake my under eyes only because I'm not digging the whole dewy under eye area. And I'm going to take my RCMA No Color Powder. Um, I put it in like this old like Mary Kay sifter thing. I'm basically just like setting slash baking my whole entire face. The RCMA powder is good under the eyes, but for me, who somebody who's a little bit more like on the oily side, it is a little bit, it keeps me a little too oily throughout the day. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with the Patrick Star powder. I'm going to wipe off, or kind of just buff out or in the yeah. excess. Oh, you're really baked. I'm really baked. Yeah. It's crazy how like smooth it looks on your skin because you baked. I was talking to Ashton off camera about what look, uh, what, what I should do under my eyes, and I posted an Instagram photo kind of of this look, but I wanted to like spice it up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Kiki and Fishy. Me. And I'm gonna take, this is a really like muted green or muted teal. So I'm really packing that on my brush and I'm gonna marry those two colors together. Okay, <laughs> so I basically am done with my face. I kind of did it off of camera because again, we had just some difficulties making sure everything looked good. My eyes were watering really badly, so pretty much what I did, I have pretty much Manny's palette all over my eyes. I took a green and a yellow and kind of created a little bit of a Brazil-inspired look <laughs> under under eyes. What did you do, Ashton? Um, and I just went in with the shade Kai Kai, pretty much all over, and then whatever, let me see this. <laughs> Um, and then I put Beat just kind of on my eyelid and added some white eyeliner. I think it's from LA Girl um, and some lashes. And I'm just going to call it good because this face didn't want to deal with me today. <laughs> yeah, same. Um, I guess what we can do now is like lips. Sorry, this video has been a little choppy. We've had again some difficult difficulties. A rough. Yeah, because Ashton hasn't filmed in like years. Yeah, like a year, almost a year and a half. Ooh, yeah. that glitter. Yes. So before I add my highlight, I like setting my face first because it makes my highlight pop more. So I'm using the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray because I am a little matte. We're just going all in. Literally. Oh, I wonder what lip I should do. Do you use Anastasia lips a lot? No. I have a few down there. It's gonna go find a lip. So for lip, I'm actually gonna go super, super bold and I'm gonna go in with Midnight 
which is the black. I've never done the black lip before, so I'm gonna need to be very precise. Um, so for my lip, um, I'm not gonna go as bold. I am debating if I just wanna use a lip gloss, and it's the Anastasia lip gloss in Estella. Um, super like it has pink and gold shift to it and almost a little bit of violet. Uh, and I'm also using the Anastasia and Omrizi highlight. I almost said palette, it's not palette. And I think this look is complete. I'm gonna grab my setting spray. Okay, let's put my Oh my god! Pose for a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. A little choppy because we've had some technical difficulties, both emotionally and technically. So if you guys enjoyed getting to know Ashton, I'm so happy to have her on my channel finally. I'm and gonna, to be here in Oregon. Literally. Oh my god, I'm so excited. We have been doing some really fun things. I believe I'm gonna upload our Oregon vlog. I'm gonna see how much footage I get once I get back home and see how good it looks and I'll let you guys know if I'm gonna upload it or not. If anything, um, I'm gonna put a little bit of clips here and there if I don't do that. The camera looks like it's about to die, so what we're gonna yes. do is we're gonna sign off. See you guys on the next one. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all of that. Give them all the love. And give Ashton a little follow on Instagram and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Bye. This is a word. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh.